Buenos días, familias. Por favor, dejen un comentario con el nombre completo de tu hija o hijo um, para nuestra asistencia. Los fondos que recibimos para mantener nuestros programas gratuitos dependen de su participación. Muchas gracias. Hi, friends. Do you remember talking about shapes yesterday? Today, we're going to read a story about two shapes. Let's look at the cover. What shapes do you see on the cover? Do you see this shape here? What shape is that? You're right, it's a circle. Just like our friend, Susie Circle. Let's read her poem together. Susie circle, big and round. All I do is roll around. Let's see what else we see on this cover. Do you see the long, skinny rectangle? This is just like our friend, Ricky Rectangle. Let's sing Ricky Rectangle's poem. Ricky Rectangle, don't get me wrong, two sides short and two sides long. Today, this book is about Ricky Rectangle and Susie Circle. Our story for today is Line and Dot. Can you find the title of our story? Yes, here it is. This is the title or the name of the book. This page says the title again. It's called the title page, line and dot. One day, Line met Dot, and they decided to play together. They became a seesaw, then a banjo. nail, airplane propeller. They were having so much fun, but soon they were turning in circles. Dot had a great idea. I should invite my friends. Different dots started coming from everywhere. Some little, some big, some young, some old. Do you see all these circles or dots? With so many dot friends, line and dot could do much more. Flower, wheat, line and the dots we're having a spectacular time. Then Line thought, well, I have lots of friends too. I'll invite them. Tall, short, wide and narrow, Line started to arrive. Some thick, some curvy, some bent over from age. Line zoomed in from all over. <gasps> Look at that, they made trees, a train, and together was even better than before. Hot air balloon. And they had fun with each other for hours. 
Oh, look at that. They made a parasol, bicycle, a juggler, balloon, kite. So many things you can make with a line and a dot. They realized they could create so many things together. So they said, why don't we build a city where we can all live together? Just like that, they started building. The city was built, but there was still something missing. Hmm, I wonder what they could be missing. What do you think? Line and Dot had a brilliant idea. Let's invite our friends who live far away in distant lands. <gasps> Look at all these new friends. From the four corners of the earth, Line and Dot's friends came to settle in the city. What a festival of colors! The lines and dots danced, swirled, and played together. Soon the city was alive with bright new colors. And it was wonderful! Now, my friends, is the end of our story today. Did you like this story? I did too. Friends, just like in the story Line and Dot, you can use shapes to make cool drawings too. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a giraffe using two shapes. This is the first shape. What shape is that? You're right, it's Sandy Square. Sandy Square is my name. My four sides are all the same. The other shape I'm going to use is this shape. What shape is this? You're right, it's Tommy Triangle. Tommy Triangle, proud as can be. Count my sides, one, two, three. To make a giraffe out of shapes, the first thing I need to do is make the body a square. Do you remember how many sides there are to a square? You're right, there are four sides. Let's make a square. One, two, three, four. The next thing I'm going to do is make some long triangle legs. Do you remember how many sides a triangle has? You're right, there are three sides. One, two, three. There's one leg. Let's make another leg. One, two, three. There are my triangle legs. Next, a giraffe has a long neck. I'm going to make a really long neck using a triangle. One, two, three sides. Next, I'm going to draw the giraffe's head. One, two, three sides. I'm gonna give him some circle eyes. 
and a mouth. Giraffes also have little ears. Let's make some triangle ears. Next, giraffes have spots. I'm going to make some square spots. How many sides does a square have? You're right, there are four sides. One, two, three, four. Made a little square. Let's make some more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Giraffes usually have spots on their neck too, so I can make some little squares here. And our giraffe needs a tail. I made a long, skinny rectangle for a tail. My friends, now it's your turn. What can you make using shapes? Can you draw a house or a giraffe? Familias, ahora es tu turno. ¿Qué puedes dibujar usando figuras? Una casa, una jirafa. ¿Qué más? Usa la imaginación 